interested. Alrighty. Well, are you a yard sale person? I'm not really into yard sales. We just <laughs> finished up the Junior League one, right. so right. I'm very familiar with them, but I don't really go to them. But I think I don't either, but they are extremely popular. And it makes you wonder popular. that if, if you were going to go to one, who, whose would you go to? I'd probably pick like some movie star with an amazing, someone like maybe Blake Lively with an amazing closet just full of that, that's all kinds idea. of designer clothes. Uh, for me, I'd probably go like maybe Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas. I figure they're giving away a lot of golf clothes. Or cool, selling a lot cool of golf, golf stuff. Clothes, right? Yeah, definitely. Maybe a couple green jackets laying around they might put out. Shake you up, never shake know. up, probably know. get a nice little bargain well, for Well, you can imagine the fabulous stuff that the people of the community at Sea Pines might have. And our John Weatherby will take a look at that today in our Low Country Showcase. You've done a garage sale before, probably had the whole neighborhood, or perhaps your local subdivision has done a yard sale or a garage sale or an estate sale or something like that. Sea Pines takes it one step farther. Welcome to Sea Pines and uh, home of the biggest yard sale that they're setting up for this Saturday. And to help us explain that yard sale, say hello to David Henderson, who's with us this morning. Tell us about all these people that are going to be there selling stuff. Well, about four or five years ago, we had a group of Sea Pines residents that came to us and asked for a yard sale. The covenants and the rules and the regs of the community do not allow individuals to have yard sales. So we thought, great, it's an opportunity, and we were able to, to put it together. This will be our fourth year of having the yard sale, and it has been very, very well well received. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. And, and it starts at what time Saturday morning? Yeah, it is a Saturday, October 18th. It is uh, open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, so the setup begins Friday? The setup, as far as well, tables for and chairs, residents? for what we do, the setup yeah. begins that, that evening. But for the vendors that are selling uh, at the event, they will be able to, to set up first thing Saturday morning. And the public is invited to this giant yard sale this week. They absolutely well, are. Well, wait a minute. I got to pay six bucks at the door just to get into this yard sale. You do, but that will get you access to the yard sale. Mm -hmm. And there are so many other things once you are able to peruse all the items and go through the yard sale sure. to do in sea finds. Oh, having been the pack mule on several occasions at yard sales, I know how this works. Parking, um, talk real quickly about where the yard sale is. It's quite convenient to the front gate. It absolutely is. It's less than a quarter mile inside the main gate mm -hmm. at our trolley station. It is very convenient. It's on a power line, so it's very linear, and yeah. it allows the vendors to be able to set up efficiently uh, at their site and park. And then at 9 p.m. sharp, customers are allowed to come in. They, they're not able 9 to come in. 9 a.m. 9 a.m., thank you so much. Oh, sure. They're not able to come in uh, until 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. sharp. And, um, so and then it opened to one. This is going to be some good stuff, too, I would imagine. That it, would make it worth the $6 fee. It absolutely is. We'll, we'll, we've had 50 to 60 tables uh, in previous events of Sea Pines residents, and it is a wide variety of everything from, <laughs> everything. from gently used to still in the package, never been used. Oh, All your typical yard sale you're, type you're stuff. A great opportunity for regifting. It absolutely. <laughs> sense. We've had some years where furniture, people would get two oh, spots gosh. just to have furniture, really nice furniture. I've seen a chainsaw, clothes, <laughs> books, Wait toys. a minute. Well, you got a problem? With That's how I got rid of my chainsaw. <laughs> it was a great price. It was one yeah, of the first things to go really that well. morning. Speaking of price, there's money raised here. Where does that money mm -hmm. go? The proceeds benefit the Sea Pines Forest Preserve Foundation. And that's so important to this entire development and this entire end of the island, right? It absolutely is. The foundation is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the Sea Pines Forest Preserve. And the yard sale is on the periphery of, on the, at the power line on the, on the periphery of the Forest Preserve. So okay. it's a, just a, 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 great, a great event. It's a great community event. Sure. You know? Oh, yes. And, and we've had, you know, the nice thing about it is we're able to bring in other people from outside the gate to, to participate and to benefit from the event. Bringing all the community together. We do. We I have like local Boy Scout True 4 5 that comes in. Yeah. They sell limited breakfast fare and uh, help patrons with their purchases. And they're able to raise funds for local scout projects. That's great. And Again, it's this Saturday. It is. 9 o'clock. Give us the website where you can get the information. You can go to seapinesliving.com for and additional we'll put, information. We'll put that on our WTOC website website as well. Mm -hmm. David, thank you for your time Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Good luck with the yard sale coming thank up you Saturday. Appreciate and it. we thank you for joining us. I'm meteorologist John Weatherby. I'll see you tonight on TV for your weather.